What's up? This is Nikki Eli, the Mostly Unclothed Gamer, here with a world record legendary speedrun guide for Reclaimer, the fifth mission in the Halo 4 campaign. And the runner who performed this was Pro Ace Joker, who is with us here today. And he's going to explain all the crazy things that we can do to glitch ourselves through this entire mission. Joker, please explain to these beautiful people what you are doing here. So we're already starting this off with RA1 glitch, where basically what we do is we skip getting into the mammoth immediately and run all the way down to kind of that rock that I ran across, and it will cause the mammoth to just jolt forward and start moving immediately instead of us needing to go up for a bunch of dialogue. Uh, I throw some nades underneath the mammoth. There's a guy hiding underneath it. He can actually cause the mammoth to slow down. So, uh, and that's, that's what the trick is here, is basically I'm trying to stay as far in the center of the mammoth as I can so the mammoth doesn't read that I'm outside of it which will cause it to actually slow down. So after that, I picked up the rocket launchers and the pistol. Pistol is not needed, but the rocket launchers will be for later. Uh, we also got a jetpack, and then we just got a nice little relaxing ride as we go through this to the first area. Have there been any songs made about jetpacking in Halo? I'm sure there have been. There better have been. <laughs> I feel like there has to be some, some song, like a parody to a club remix, like... I'm on a mammoth and I got a jetpack in. <laughs> it's got to be out there. If anyone so, knows, please let us know in the comments. Or just just do one now. Just create a new one for just us. Just create it. Just let's just sing it. Yeah. You and me right here right now, <laughs> and then have them create it, and then we read it in the next video. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I mean, right. the next one is shut down. We don't really need to explain anything. There's so. a lot of waiting. It is a lot uh, of waiting. Anyways, back to the gameplay. Uh, we are actually going to jump off the Mammoth here. Uh, it's really, really slow. Mammoth is a slow, slow vehicle. So it's actually faster for us to just run. And also we can just skip a bunch of other parts that normally we'd have to go through. Um, so we're just going to actually run through here. There's actually just two random plasma nades there. Who, who knows why? But they're there. No so, idea. <laughs> uh, not useful, but I mean, I guess the game designers kind of want you to explore around a bit. But... We're actually going to run all the way to this rock. We're supposed to get a target designator. Uh, I'm going to do something which is called like a super jetpack that I call it, where basically I bounce myself off a rock a bit so that I can get extra height when getting off the jetpack. So you see me normally using one jetpack wouldn't get you that high, but I was able to just barely bounce off that rock to give me some extra height. Uh, and then we're going to just drop right down into here, right where the target designator is. So we skip by a wraith, ghost, and a bunch of snipers. Uh, we're going to then jump by this water, and we're going to sit here for a bit just for some safety. And actually to hit a load zone, uh, you'll see at the top it says objective complete. Basically, we want to see that come up, and then you're going to see another one come up, and then it says current objective. Once you see that, you're going to get into the ghost drive on top of this rock, and then you want to jump over the river. Um, All right, so let me stop you there. So that's a lot of detail, it sounds like. But basically, if you just follow what he's doing on screen, it should work out. Yeah. Um, you have to wait a little bit anyways, or else when you take the ghost over the river, you'll throw yourself into a soft kill zone if you do it too early. So in general, you want to wait. Also, this path he's taking right here is very risky. The reason he's taking this risky route through the enemies is because it's the fastest route. It's a B line, essentially, from A to B, right? Fastest way between two points is a line. And so you can obviously just go through the middle of all the enemies, just as you've seen in my other videos. Now, what is going on here, Joker? So this is actually something you would do on easy difficulty, but I made it work for legendary. You would never do this normally. But basically, we're going to we need to destroy these three power supplies to open up a barrier. Um, normally, on legendary, you would actually do a clip through by using jumping out of the vehicle. You can actually clip through the wall. Um, but I was able to make this strat, which normally no way you would be able to do. What's your percent um, success rate trying that? Recently, I've actually been able to get it about one in three. So it's That's it's higher bad. than normal, but I've been practicing it a lot as well. So gotcha. normally, I would actually just recommend clipping through the wall with your ghost. Uh, all you do is prop up the ghost sideways to it, and then jump out of the vehicle, and you'll clip right through the barrier, and you can skip doing all of that. And by so, jump out, you just mean, like, press the button to get out, right? Yeah, Not get out jump. of the vehicle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, so I, I should just link my Lasso Reclaimer video so that you guys can see all the, the easier strats that he's talking about because he does a lot of insane things in this run. And of course, we're explaining how everything works, but at the same time, I want you to be able to visualize what's happening. So here, he's going to rocket the Lich. You could also run inside, punch the core. Um, you could throw grenades at it. That's fine. But the rocket is the fastest way. And this is why we actually picked up the rockets from the beginning is just for that one shot because the rocket blast is so powerful that it can actually destroy the lich core from the outside yep. and once that happens um we're going to come to this point where there needs to be a load zone triggered just by waiting and then we can take our ghost to do this next jetpack i also wanted to mention that as we're jetpacking onto the lich you want to take the route that Joker did where he aimed for like on the top, there's two little humps, one on the right, one on the left. And you want to sort of slide down that right hump so that you don't just ram your body into the lich. And you might get hurt, but you shouldn't die if you land it like, like on that inner lip on the right side. Yep. And over here, we call this the gorge jump. Uh, it's just got to do with using your jetpack uh, effectively. Uh, typically you use about half your jetpack and then just a quarter from there and it's you kind of make a waving motion going up and down uh, and this skips a bunch of rivers basically so you just jetpack across it and you yeah, can you land on the rocks. You don't have to do this right you could just wait on the mammoth and it would just take like an extra couple minutes basically. Yeah yeah you could just get back into the mammoth and do it but again going for world records you gotta go as fast as you can. So, so fast. once we're up here we're going to actually arrive to an area called, called Sniper Alley there's a lot of snipers here. You don't want to deal with them. <laughs> um, is, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to completely outskirt this area. Um, you're going to see I first come all the way down there. Now that's important. A lot of people always talk about how they never seem to be able to load correctly. The reason I ran all the way down to where I did and turned around is you need to make sure you hit a load zone there. Uh, if you don't hit that, this will not work. Once we do that, we're going to jetpack up this rock, again, using kind of the bouncing off the rock to give me some extra height. And we're actually just going to kind of just follow the path I'm taking across these rock. Uh, there is a soft kill barrier. Don't worry. You'll get out of it. No problem. Um, and you're going over the tops here, but you could also go around these bottom pieces, right? As you long could. as they arrive right here. Now, this part is kind of complicated. You want to get through here, jump, and as you're underneath that shiny thing, you then start to jetpack let go and then jetpack some more and you should land perfectly on this platform then you jetpack straight up and that will take you to the, the back end of the sniper alley where no enemies are loaded and then we can come in here to do the blue elevator skip yeah now this is one of the hardest tricks if not the hardest trick in halo 4 legendary uh you're gonna see us first we're gonna jump up here and you're gonna see me again using that kind of extra boost jump where I run against the wall and jetpack up to get some extra height. And we're going to kind of jump into the ceiling. And then there's a tiny corner that we can just jump out of the map on. Now this, we're going to land on top of the elevator. And I look for that door, the door elevator door to close. You want to make sure you do that. You see the Cortana dialogue, the subtitles I have. If you do not see those subtitles, you want to restart. Because you actually jumped off the elevator too early and you're going to soft lock the game. Whoops. So... <laughs> Yeah, Don't and then that. jump all the way down here, and you want to quickly jump into this room here that's not loaded. Uh, if you actually take too long, you will get stuck outside of the map. This is a really so. hard trick. It took me several times to pull it off. And if you mess it up, you get you basically don't make it into the map in time. You get locked outside at a checkpoint, and then you have to kill yourself five times fast to revert back to the last checkpoint. Yeah. So. If you don't want to try the hardest trick in Halo 4 to pull off, arguably, then you don't have to do this. You could just run around, take you could take, take the, the actual elevator. elevator. <laughs> just take the elevator. And Joker, what's the time save if you can actually pull off the elevator? It skip? saves about 40 seconds. So it's that's actually quite a lot of time. Pretty so. so that's substantial for speedrunners, but for your average Joe trying to get through a game on Legendary, um, it's definitely going to take you more than 40 seconds to learn the blue elevator skip. Yeah. So only do that trick if you want to be hardcore, set some records, really impress your friends, and if you do or, or do it in front of your friends, like it's the coolest trick to watch, <laughs> so I'm sure they'll enjoy it. Yep, and right here now, just a little bit of running. We're pretty much, kind of all the complicated stuff is done. We have We have a little bit of an ending to come here. But as Eli was saying, I mean, if you want to go for world record, I would suggest trying this mission. You'll actually see, I actually have a death in this world record. You'll see in a second. Mm -hmm. um, 
So it's actually very viable if you want to try and, and if you want a world record in Halo 4, might as well try this mission. So Yeah, Joker died like a noob, so you guys should take <laughs> this world record from him. Yeah, I don't know how to play this game, it turns out. So, <laughs> Anyways, we're going to take Cortana and we're just going to jump over to this kind of left hallway area. Um, and these are the only enemies we actually kill in this run, is these two crawlers right there. And the and only reason I kill them. To, yeah, but it's, obviously it's it more of a safety. Run more safe, yeah, safer, I should no. say. Um, but, I mean, we're pretty much at the end of this run now. We yeah, became but, Super Chief with all that lights and flashiness. Super Chief. What do you think actually happened there? Uh, apparently they changed his DNA. I mean, they talk about it in the actual video. He, he, they, like, the, a librarian unlocked some, like, evolution in him or something like that. Hmm, but, anyways, here, you're, you can actually run in that white cutscene. So, and this is where I died. I just get mauled by my own warthog. <laughs> So That's that happened. Really ridiculous. But you we're can't gonna see it coming. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna run and grab this ghost uh, to basically do a do a skip here. Uh, again, there's that other. You, you can see it in the background there. There's that big blue barrier that initially, uh, normally you would jump through before, but we destroyed it. Uh, can we basically, not clip we're gonna do the that same blue thing. Barrier, by no, the way? this one is not clippable. Um, okay. The rocks do not allow you. They're just faced the wrong way. Anyways, though, uh, I run all the way down here. This is actually somewhat safe, but I do another boost jump to get just over the barrier. Covenant aren't really good at making giant barriers, so you can just <laughs> jetpack over them. Uh, you can so actually climb. Jetpack over it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, but you can actually climb on any of the rocks in that area, so you didn't have to jump exactly where I did. You can kind of climb up any of the rocks in that area and yeah, just it's a climb over it. a little bit safer so. if you're like, I don't know, 10 meters back, right? There's exactly. a, It's a bit of an easier jump to go up, but uh, definitely reasonable. And then here we are, pressing the target designator. Sometimes there's a glitch here that just, like, stops the mission, right? Like, yeah, right it's... it's well, yeah, it's it's weird load zones and stuff that you actually missed a load zone that will cause it to uh, freeze up, so. Gotcha. So, yeah, if you're going to glitch through a mission, people, make sure you hit all the load zones, which <laughs> I hope we explained well in the video. So, this run, coming in hot at an 11.44, spanking new world record by 7 seconds. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. We'll catch you next time on Shutdown. See you guys later.